today I'm going to be talking about the differences between Instax Mini photos and Polaroid photos. For starters, Polaroid cameras come in a variety of different shapes and sizes, but the Polaroid film is generally always about the same, unless you use a 4x5 camera, which is a completely different type of Polaroid than what I'm talking about. The Instax Mini are pretty small little cameras, and obviously the, the photos are going to be small too. But does that necessarily mean that they're not as good? So this is what the average Polaroid photo is sized at. And this is what the average Instax photo is sized at. As you can see, there's a bit of a difference. As far as quality, with the Instax minis, you're actually going to get better quality results, more clear and crisp results, because the Instax mini cameras are a newer technology. And the Impossible Project film, which is the only film available right now for Polaroid cameras, unless you're lucky enough to snag some of the old stuff, is still experimental, so they're working to get it perfect, but it's not quite there yet. Somehow Fuji has managed to create a really good looking film resembling the Polaroid film and still make it to where it can do really good, really crisp, clear shots. Now, in my opinion, which do I think is better? I think they're different. The Polaroid cameras, for someone who's got a little bit of extra money to spend, probably more artsy type, wanting to do sort of a photography type project. Chances are you're not going to shoot this stuff at a birthday party to remember the event because it's just too expensive. For eight shots it's like 20-30 bucks. However, it is cool to have for really special occasions. This on the other hand is a lot more affordable. You get 10 shots per pack and usually those come in packs of two, so 20 shots. And those usually run for under $20. A lot of people really like these because they're about business card shaped and you can stick these into your wallet or purse or on your desk or plug it on a push pin board or just whatever you want to do with them really easily. They're a great size for that. I'm going to show you the backs of these now. As you can see, these are two different types of film, but it just depends on what you're wanting to use it for. Are you wanting that more old and vintage type look with your Polaroids or are you wanting a really cool camera to help you capture your memories right now and remember them in a crisp clear way. Either way, I recommend checking out the link in the description for really cheap, really affordable prices on the film for both of these and really great deals on camera. As always, keep living the analog lifestyle.